Hi Virgo, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is another Virgo channel and this is another Virgo reading. Let's get started with a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Thank you. This is going to be for Virgo for April 17th through April 23. Please keep in mind that this reading may not resonate with you. Take what feels right and leave the rest for someone else. Also, I will not ever reach out to you to ask you for money or for readings. Please do not get scammed. First message I'm getting for this week for you, Virgo, is everything is right on time. If you're waiting on a package, it's coming in this week. If you're waiting on a manifestation, it's coming in this week. If you're expecting something, it's coming in this week. Everything is right on time. So it's happening right when it's supposed to. And then we do have some astrological events coming up this week. There is a new moon, solar eclipse, in the last few degrees of Aries on April 19th and 20th, depending on where you live in the world. Okay. And then we also have Mercury retrograde starting. This is all Western astrology. We have Mercury retrograde starting on April 21st. That'll last through to May 14th. And then we'll have a shadow period afterwards for about another week or two. And then we also have the sun moving into Taurus. I wasn't planning on talking about all of this, but it's just coming through right now. Uh, we also have the sun moving into Taurus in Western astrology, I think also on April 21st. So that's your astro astrology update. Let's see what the cards are saying for Virgo for this upcoming week, April 17 through 23. We're seeing alliance. So there could be an important friendship or an important alliance or an important group. I'm getting like a group sitting or a group event. You may have like a, a meeting this week or there may be a meeting of minds or you may be meeting somebody new this week who you form an alliance with. This card says conjunction. And then 51. 51 or 15 could be significant. And the bottom of the deck says first house, which is an arrival energy, so... An alliance, is, an alliance is arriving. I feel like some of you are making amends with somebody, you're making friends with somebody. I'm hearing like all is okay, all is good, everything's happening right on time. It's kind of like reconnecting with somebody who you haven't seen in years. And then I'm getting like the two of you apologizing, being like, sorry, we haven't kept in touch. Sorry, we haven't talked. And you're like, and then you both come to this realization of this mutual agreement of like, no, it's right on time. We were meant to go live our own lives. We were meant to go experience different things, see different things, and come back so that we can pick up right where we left off. There is this feeling of like picking up right where you left off with like an old friend or somebody who's really important to you or somebody new, but they feel familiar. You know what I mean? Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Let's see what comes out on the cards. This number is 39. You could also be born in 1993. Let's see what's going on here. There could be a focus on your personality this week or how you look. Some of you are always getting something about like your head. So you may be like cutting your hair or dyeing your hair or something's going on with your head or your mind. Something is changing with that. I feel like you're coming into alliance with your mind. So you're being more kind to yourself. You're being nice to yourself. You're being very positive. There's this energy of like, um, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. I was feeling that with the solar eclipse. So that's the message. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. I was seeing the Nine of Cups when I just said that out of my peripheral. So yeah, you will get what you want. Just be careful what you wish for, right? Because something might be a contract. Something might be contractually obligating. There might be a contractual obligation that you don't want to fulfill or that you do want to fulfill. So, choice is yours, Virgo. But I am seeing an alliance here. <clears throat> Possibly with another Virgo. Okay. What does the week look like for Virgo? Two of Wands, you're making really good decisions this week, or you have a good decision, you just made a good decision, or you have a decision coming up. The Sun. For some of you, it has to do with like traveling. I'm getting like travel plans traveling to somewhere warmer or traveling to the sun. I'm getting like traveling to the sun's shine state. 
specifically for some of you. You may be getting a house in Florida or an apartment in Florida, or you may be like traveling to Florida, or you may be making friends in Florida. I don't know why that's coming through so specifically for some of you, but it is. Okay, obviously that won't resonate for everybody. Some of you are making a good decision when it comes to a Leo, or some of you are traveling with a Leo, traveling to a Leo, or a Leo is traveling to you. I feel like you and the Leo are making up for some of you. If that resonates, you and the fixed sign are making up this week. So that's Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Okay. For some of you, you're like making amends or you're becoming friends again or you're talking again or that's the person who you haven't seen in a long time who you're going to be seeing this week. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like someone is smoking during the reading. I can just feel it all in my throat. I don't know what kind of smoke it is, but I can just feel this someone smoking during the reading. It's fine. I just felt I can feel it. Um, all right. What's one more card for the week? For some of you, I'm getting like put your stuff online or put your work online. The world card is here. You're going to have a lot of success with that. You're going to get a lot of hits this week, a lot of attention, a lot of views, a lot of comments, a lot of engagement. If you do something online or if you do something in the public eye, there's going to be a lot of attention or a lot of eyes on you this week. And then we're seeing the High Priestess as your overall energy for the week. Which always means follow your intuition. Your intuition is spot on. I also am getting that you have a hidden helper looking out for you. I feel like you always do. But you do, especially right now with this High Priestess energy. This feels like some like ancient soul, to be honest with you. Or this like, um, this guide this presence, this angel, this high priestess that's looking out for you. I'm hearing we go way back. You and this guide. Or you and this person that you're reconnecting with this week. Or you and this person that you're forming an alliance with. For some of you, this is somebody completely new. This is like a new friend, a new coworker, a new... I don't feel romance, to be honest with you. But it feels like somebody here that you're forming an alliance with. You're forming a friendship with... You're kind of just like calling it even. You're calling a truce is kind of what it feels like. This could also be just going on within yourself and within your mind. You could be calling a truce within yourself. And I'm getting that you're going to get the last laugh, Virgo. We have the Five of Swords. I learned something else about the Five of Swords recently, but I can't think of it to tell you. So let's just keep going. We're seeing the King of Cups on the Two of Wands. So you're choosing what makes you happy. You're choosing what makes your heart happy. And if that is moving across the country, if that is moving to a new state, if that is moving in general, excuse me, then you're going to do it because it makes you happy, because it fulfills your needs, because, I don't know, maybe you need to travel. Maybe you need to get out of the house. Maybe you need to get on the water. With this King of Cups, Two of Wands here, you're just choosing whatever makes your heart feel good. You're choosing whatever makes you feel good in general. And I feel like that's what you're being guided to do this week is to just choose whatever makes you feel good. In your daily routines in your travel plans choose what's going to make you feel good choose what's going to make you feel comfortable don't stress too much but choose what makes you feel comfortable all right and then we're seeing the death card here yeah i really feel like there's something you don't have to worry about that you're worrying about and i don't know what that is you could be worried about making this decision am i going to make the right decision will i know what to do when to do it use an affirmation for yourself and just repeat it i always make the right decisions and you do. Every decision led you to where you are right now. And I was also getting this message earlier today while I was in the shower, and it was, um, you've survived every single day that you thought you couldn't, or that you thought you wouldn't. So you'll survive this too, or you've already survived something with the death card here. I feel like you're really tough on yourself, Virgo, especially when it comes to, like, making decisions, or traveling, or... I feel like there's some kind of, like major life change that's going on with you virgos and some of you are like embracing it some of you are just going with it riding the wave because you know that that's what life is meant for that's that's how we're supposed to live life and some of you are like really trying to like cling on to whatever is left of a past world and so this week i see you kind of like letting that go trusting your intuition allowing yourself to like flow and follow and trust Kind of what i'm getting that's kind of the energy that it feels like that's what you're choosing to do choosing to just go with the flow and choosing to just trust yeah because your other option is to be in the five of wands or the seven of swords 
Your other option is to deal with the drama, to deal with the snakes, to deal with the fakes, to deal with the BS, to self-sabotage, to create chaos, to live in that. I feel like you're seeing your choices very clearly this week. And one is just so obvious. One is way more obvious than the other. So you're like, okay, I get it. This could have to do with like a person. This could have to do with a location. This could have to do with a job. It could be anything, right? <clears throat> but in this situation, I see you're choosing what makes you happy. What makes you feel at peace? What makes you feel at ease? What inspires you? That's what you're choosing this week. You're not choosing this low vibrational energy. I'm getting like rising above. You're rising above. I'm getting like Phoenix rising to the ashes energy. You could have a Scorpio moon. I just heard Scorpio stellium. So you could have a Scorpio stellium in your chart. This feeling of like having to rise and be reborn and constantly go through shifts and changes. And I feel like you are going through another shift. Regardless of whether you have that Scorpio in your chart or not, Virgo, it feels like you're going through like some kind of major life change and you are making good decisions for yourself and you are making good decisions for everybody involved in the situation. With the world card here, it feels like you have everyone's best interest in mind. That's your intention. I feel like you're very intentional this week with your words, with your actions, with your thoughts. That'll be really important for you. Be very intentional with your thoughts this week because I feel like what you think will manifest, especially with the first house here. It's like you think it, that's as quickly as it will manifest. Okay, what's the sun? Eight of swords. Try to stay positive because there is going to be some doubt that creeps in this week. Like, did I make the right decision? Is this the right move for me? Is this the right thing for me? Can I trust this person? Can I trust God? Can I trust the universe? You know, it's just a lot of like in your head. And this is the beginning of Mercury Retrograde. Eight of Swords is a Mercury Retrograde card to me. So throughout this Mercury Retrograde, the sun is going to shine on you, which means all of your doubts are going to be illuminated to you, is what I'm getting. So try to stay positive and try to stay focused on your goals and try to stay focused on self, right? I feel like now is not the time to be um, doubting yourself and not to be questioning if you're being selfish or not. Do what's best for you. Do what feels good to Virgo. I'm hearing like at the end of the day, all you got is you, right? So do what's best for Virgo. It's not ego either. The sun card to me is not giving ego. This isn't you. You aren't acting out of ego by making this trip or by choosing this person or by choosing this lifestyle. You aren't. You're doing what's best for you. And what's best for you happens to be what's best for everybody else. That's what I'm getting. The hermit. There you are. And I just said you're doing what's best for you. And what's best for you happens to be what's best for everybody else the high priestess here is confirming all of this to me i'm getting like how do you know the high priestess is here so i'm getting like how do you know ask your guide ask this presence that's around you ask this high priestess ask i'm hearing you have access to the information or will tell you i'm getting like akashic records you could be doing some kind of akashic record meditation or you could be like asking your guides to show you more about your family or to show you more about your akashic records or to show you about your past lives and they're showing you in your meditations or in your dreams or when you look up at the sun i don't know i'm also getting something about the hermetic principle so you could be learning about the hermetic principles or you're integrating some kind of hermetic principle or something like that but really i feel like you have nothing to worry about the sun here is solving all of your problems the world here is solving all of your problems so i'm getting like the earth the universe that loud noise is confirmation but i'm getting that the earth the universe this guide is solving all of your problems for you they're just like sit back or go watch and wait do what makes you feel good choose yourself it's all gonna work out for you truly i feel like you have nothing to worry about three of swords three of pentacles 33 is your lucky number for this week that's a double jupiter energy which feels like, a, it feels like the start of something new or a brand new beginning with the world card here too. It's like you're closing out a chapter on Wednesday. So that a new one can begin, like this new fresh start. And it feels like it starts immediately. Okay, I've been getting this energy with the solar eclipse that it's going to feel like a, like a win but we don't really get to stop and celebrate it for too long it's kind of like hey pat yourself on the back real quick but we got to keep moving there's more to do there's more to see we aren't at the peak yet the way that spirit showed it to me was like an avalanche or like a rock slide falling and we watched the rocks fly fall into the earth we're still standing on like a small ledge 
on this mountain. We gotta go. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, cool, we didn't fall down to the center of the earth with all these rocks that just slid off the mountain, but we are still barely on the mountain. We are on a ledge. We gotta keep going. So that's kind of what it feels like this week. Maybe you're gonna really feel that on Wednesday. It's like a... It's this moment of satisfaction, this moment of like, whew, we made it, I'm okay, I'm safe, on to what's next. It's just like a brief moment, I can feel it, it's kind of happening this week, it feels like it's Wednesday. It's this brief moment of clarity of like, okay, we made it, on to the next thing, on to the next part, on to the next phase. Okay, what's the world? Temperance and Five of Cups, everything is right on time. It may not be in your time, but it is on God's time. It is on the universe's time. The universe is saying that everything is right on time with the Temperance card and the Five of Cups. Try not to be disappointed if it doesn't happen exactly when you want it to. I feel like that's good guy, good life advice in general, is to not be upset about when life doesn't give you things exactly the when you want them to. Because life, the world, doesn't work that way. When the time is right, the time will be right. When it's meant to happen, it will happen. Because what's meant for us will never miss us, right? It's just about being patient, being in the right energy, being accepting, being ready, and having enough faith. And then taking the actions necessary that lead us to that desired reality. So temperance and the five of cups here is really saying to me that everything is right on time. The universe is confirming that, okay? What's the knight of swords? I'm seeing a lot of people hit the like heart button on your Instagram pictures or hit the like button on your videos or something like that. Like more people. There's more traffic. There's more traffic to your page. There's more traffic to your content. There's more traffic to your life. Some of you, for some of you, there may be more traffic. So you may be having to go through a detour or there may be some kind of like construction going on you around this week, going on around you this week. Don't let it trigger you. Turn on music that you like chill out, hang out, try to change your perspective. It's not happening to you, it's happening for you. That construction is happening so that you can have an extra five, 10 minutes before you go into work or so that you can avoid some kind of accident that might have happened. Do you know what I mean? Spirit's just guiding you to change your perspective this week. Everything is happening for you, not to you, and everything is always right on time. But it is your justice to receive more attention I'm also getting that there could be a Libra here who's like messaging you this week or messaging well, messaging you a lot this week. That could be the person who you're forming the alliance with or that you're making up with, the Libra. I'm seeing the Princess of Wands here as well. You may have a child with this person or this person may have like a little bit of like a younger mindset than you. I don't feel like they're younger than you. I just feel like they have like a, a more youthful, younger, immature mindset than you. Not as mature as you is what we're going to say. Um, but I feel like that could be the person who you're having a conversation with. My ear is ringing. That person could be reaching out to you this week to make an alliance or to mend things or to fix things or heal things with you. Follow your intuition. Choose what makes you feel right. I feel like this person is not aligned to your path. And I feel like this person is trying like a last ditch effort because they can feel you leaving. Because for some of you, you are moving states, you are moving countries, you are moving, you're getting out of there. And they know that. Which means they'll, they'll only have access to you online, right? or not at all and they don't want that or they're realizing that they made a bad move or made a mistake so now they want to reach out to you okay that's not for all of you obviously but for some of you for some of you i'm seeing though that it is your justice to be in the sun to be in the spotlight to be shown off more to get more recognition to get more attention you have the sun showing up here twice in your reading it's a good week to be a virgo a lot is being illuminated for for you and I, I just keep hearing that. It's important that you remember that this is all happening for you, not to you. And it is a good week to be a Virgo. We have the Emperor here at the bottom of the deck. And the Emperor to me means that you're like mastering your masculine energy. So it feels like you may be really busy this week. Or you may have like um, a lot of tasks to complete or a lot of tasks to delegate. Okay. Let's pull one of these cards. You're making the right decisions to become the emperor or the empress, depending on your gender. I just read the card. Um, but it feels like the two of wands is ending up as the emperor. So rest assured that whatever you're deciding leads you to 
I'm hearing your final form. I'm getting like you're the final boss in a video game. I don't know why it's coming through like that, but like you're like evolving to your final form or you're elevating, upgrading to your final form. Whatever decisions you're making now is leading you to your higher self. So you're on path making the right decisions for your higher purpose. Yeah, trust that. I'm hearing trust your higher self. Your higher self knows what's best for you or your higher self knows what to do. A lot of Aries energy coming to complete this week, coming to a close this week. I think that that could be what this Emperor energy is trying to tell me as well. That you can kind of like slow down again, Virgo, or you're going to be able to like slow down again. Because Aries energy has been very like quick. First thing that comes to your mind, go with it. You don't really have a lot of time to like sit and think and ponder. Virgos like to do that. We like to analyze. And I feel like you haven't been really able to, you haven't really been able to do that the past couple of weeks. So it feels like this week things are starting to like settle down again and slow down again. And I'm getting like, you're coming out on top. I'm just seeing this like bird, this phoenix rising from the ashes. I'm getting that you're creating something from nothing or you already have created something from nothing. All right, last card please for the Virgos for April 17 through 23. This one, ascend. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're ascending this week, Virgo. There's ascension going on here. You may have been dealing with ascension symptoms like uh, tiredness, exhaustion. I'm getting like nausea feelings too, but you're not actually vomiting or you're not actually nauseous, okay? I was also feeling something about like migraine or like third eye ascension, third eye activation, third eye awakenings for some of you. The runny nose we talked about in the last reading coughs un like out of nowhere coughing and ear ringing i feel like those are all part of your ascension symptoms if you've been having one or multiple of those this reading is definitely for you but i feel like you've been ascending there's an ego debt that you have gone through your frequency is vibrating higher and you've done some sort of trauma healing as well period i'm hearing now you can reap the benefits or now you can reap the rewards 22 22 on the timer when i said that but now you can reap the rewards okay that's what i have for you virgo i hope that this helped you enjoy your week sending you love always take care of your beautiful self stay hydrated and i will catch you in the next one